he's one of my favorite speaker right now because almost uh, having a similar interest and I believe that this is going to be a wonderful talk show because this person is going to help you in terms of career development and startup development. I believe me, this is going to be a wonderful talk. I want you to be so attentive today because the person have an immense experience in helping people, young people in order to develop their careers, understand what is their passion and also helping somebody to develop their startup in every way possible. So, how do you actually, I know that uh, the introduction was uh, done enough in order to tell you what you were actually doing in your entrepreneur journey. And how do you think, uh, what were the basic challenges when you wanted to do this? And how did you start it? And which age did you start it? And what was the experience prior to that? And how, what was the real challenges when you wanted to do this really happen? I would like you to explain this to the young people so that they may be inspired about your journey. First of all, thank you for having me here. Uh, this is a venerable institution happy to be here of course always my uh, favorite part is to interact with younger students and borrow their energy as well uh, so uh, hopefully i'm able to help some of them here uh, challenges i think as a first generation entrepreneur the first thing is uh, the first challenge which i'll realize later is to battle your toxic optimism mm -hmm. right jab aap ek startup entrepreneur banna chahte ho so, ek optimism si ban jati hai ki aapko lagta hai yaar this is the best idea nobody has done this in the past today after so many years of experience uh, i realize if nobody else has done it there's probably a risk involved like recently somebody had come to me and said sir i'll make kirana stores hyper local ek main marketplace banaunga you know where i can beat blinkit right like 10 minute delivery i'll give it in 2 minutes because i'm you know, getting the, sourcing the materials from the Kirana stores night next to your house. So I said, have you done your research? You know, because the projections that they had given to me was of a few tens of crores that this is how much we can make in, make in the market. My only question to them was, if it is so lucrative, why are the big companies not doing it? Right? So what an entrepreneur ko kya hota hai? Toxic optimism is that they think that this idea is amazing. Hai. What they don't do mostly is mitigate the risks. If it is so good, why aren't the big players doing it? Why isn't Reliance in it? Why are the Tatas not doing it? If it is a thousand crore ka jo aap market, but dikha rahe ho na, pitch mein, why aren't these people doing it? So when they did the research, they came back and they realized Kirana stores chalte hai, quality ke nahi, 90% of their customers udhar lete hai. They maintain credit. Isile log Kirana store ke paas jate hai. You can never beat that market unless you become a fintech company. Ki bhai aap hyper local karo but uske saath saath loan do unko. Right? That you can take credit. So unless you do that, that if I hadn't guided them, they would have never got it because they have not done the research in that perspective. So my challenge when I started out was this toxic optimism. Iske chakkar mein mere teen cha startup fail bhi ho gai. Because I would never listen to others. Because I would never listen to others. Nobody is doing it. It's my unique product. Hai. So the myth that if you're starting up something, you have to be unique, I think is the first barrier entrepreneurs need to, need to break. It is okay. Somebody was asking that question. How do you handle competition? It is okay to just be a better mousetrap. This is India. Hai. This is a huge market. Right? Sometimes... There is space for everybody in the market. The critical thing is, boss, you optics banana chate ho ya danda karna chate ho. Optics banana hai to evaluation ka game khelo. Danda karna hai, start small, start profitable. If you have a company, if you have a startup that makes 10 lakhs revenue in a month and you make 6 lakhs profit out of it, you're better than Flipkart. Right? Because you're still profitable. So there is no of building a scale where you're not profitable, your investors are not happy, you cannot sleep peacefully. What thought is business hota hai So that's that's I think the biggest challenge that we need to work. One at a time. Because this is one of the most wisest points I personally believe as well because I really agree to you. Because when you want to do a startup, everybody on the scale up immediately. They consider themselves not not profitable or not successful unless they don't make up billions or crores or something. But as uh, Teja has said right now, he told that even if you're making a profit of 
hundred percent or fifty percent age, even in small terms, you're much better than ninety percent of the companies around you and the corporates. So that's a wonderful statement. So as I agree to you, even my company is a bootstrap, and I have never got a loan or uh, anything till now. It's been eight years, and we are profitable, and I'm happy because I have peace of mind. I ha- we had the same conversation right now. So what exactly you want to be on that area? Like, how do you think the not having a debt and having a very good company which is profitable is going to help you in, help these kids in terms of making a startup or anything? How how do you want to put your point of view with that so that they can be inspired? See, I I still remember what my one of my mentors told me. पहले अपने कॉलोनी का तो अंबानी बन, right? Before you go conquer the country. तुम्हारे अगल बगल में जो है वहां तो मार्केट में तू लीडर वन राइट बिकॉज इन दैट प्रोसेस यू विल लर्न अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सी स्केल इज ऑलवेज एक्सट्रापोलेटेड दीज आर स्टूडेंट्स स्टडी दिस एवरी डे एट एट आई आई टीज यू गॉट इट इज ऑल एक्सट्रापोलेटिंग वॉट यू ऑलरेडी अचीव राइट द पावर ऑफ इंक्रीमेंटलिज्म इज फिनोमिनल गेट दैट वन परसेंट राइट फर्स्ट एंड देन ग्रोइंग वन परसेंट एवरी डे इवेंचुअली यूल बिकम अकॉन बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्लान अ यूनिकॉन फ्रॉम डे वन that's where you're bound to fail because your entire plan is at a scale that's not practical right so the first thing i request people to do is even if you're bootstrapping yesterday there was a gentleman uh, a student who stood up and said we are doing uh, uh we only service we, we have a startup and we only service large appliances at home i love that clarity right uh, if if i were to mentor that person the first question i would ask is How different are you from Urban Club or the Urban Company? Because वो भी वही तो करते हैं. And if that person would have responded saying, "Well, we are the Urban Club of smaller towns in India," they'll actually become bigger than Urban Club, right? Because the scale of what they can achieve in smaller cities, smaller towns, is a lot more easier. Reaching out to people, marketing to people in smaller towns is a lot more easier than targeting the entire country and becoming this. So. so all this celebration that we do of startups was great to create a culture of startups but now it's becoming a disadvantage because everybody wants the out of the world you know humongous names for their startup but they don't do dhanda end of the day you have to do dhanda first everything else will follow that's that's what i think wonderful and one more area which i want you to speak out is like the peace of mind when an entrepreneur is peaceful in his mind His innovations will be better than any other any other entrepreneurs because most of the people who are, how they every startup or now I believe has an immense talent in creating unique things but most of them will fail just because after they immediately get the investment because there their investment or innovations actually stops then though they are in a rush to make billions for the investor so how do you actually put that point of view in that area what you would see first of all we should start stop celebrating debt right. In India, we hardly celebrate profits. We celebrate investments. वो तो you are primarily giving away a part of your company, and you're celebrating every day saying, "Hey, I got funded." I find that stupid, right? Yes, it is important that you need funding to scale. Don't get me wrong; I'm not against investments. I try to invest in a lot of companies when when possible. The point I'm trying to make is today we have 230 plus unicorns. I think two thirty-seven unicorns in India. How many do you think are profitable? Any guesses? How many of them are profitable? Any guesses? Two hundred and thirty-seven unicorns in India. You ten oh, percent? You said. I would love to see India with a ten percent profitable unicorns. There's probably one in that entire list that's profitable. And that company that is profitable has never taken external funding. the name of the company is zoho they have never raised funds from external investors and they are the only company that's profitable it tells you a story stop celebrating scale celebrate profit right it scale will come so that's probably where i you know i see so many startups going behind the moment they they come up with the idea they are already thinking of investments माई लॉजिक इज वेरी सिंपल हम एक ऑटो वाले को दस रुपए ज्यादा देने में दिक्कत हो जाती है हमें हाउ कैन यू एक्सपेक्ट अ स्ट्रेंजर जस्ट टू बिलीव इन योर कॉन्सेप्ट एंड गिव यू अ क्रोल राइट 
unless they have seen that you've gone all in. If you're not ready to risk everything that you have on an idea that you believe and put that initial amount of money to bring your proof of concept or some initial traction or five customers, 10 customers, if I don't see that, why will I risk my money on you? So what we should be training startups or anybody who's interested in entrepreneurship is, is your idea first great at a miniature level? Can you make it perfect there? Before you can think of extrapolating it. Even the best of buildings, they first make car cardboard proof of concepts before they start investing money and pouring that first liter of concrete or that first brick. They also set up a cardboard uh, replica of what good looks like. Can you make that? And that's where your incubation centers, all of these become important. You know, yesterday there was a question in, in this forum. Somebody said, uh, is it a good thing to give 5% to incubators? I would like to ask that question back to the audience, right? Do you have everything it takes to scale up on your own? If you don't, then somebody is helping you do that. There is, there is no free lunches in business, right? If you have the right tech partner, if you have somebody who's putting in money from your family or your friends, you don't need an incubator. But when you don't have, all you have is an idea and you want to see that scale up and grow, that's when you go to an incubator because they will invest in you. They will coach you. They will train you. They'll put the money. They'll make you meet investors. Uske ne wo 5% le yaar. Abhi company banai nahi. Right? The baby hasn't been born yet. And you're already worried about the college admission and high college fees in degree. That's greed. Right? There is somebody trying to set you up with the best in the business and all they're asking you is for 5%. That's valid. But if you don't want to pay 5% because you're now already in your head thinking, Mira, 10,000 crore ka company banne wala, usme 5%, oh my God. That is what I call greed. Wonderful. Wonderful. Because uh, what exactly I would like to add there is that when somebody is asking that, when should I get the investment? At which point of uh, the stage should I get the investment? I think it is like asking when should I have a baby to yourself because a neighbor can't tell you like when you should actually have a baby. I'm right. So this is exactly the point. When you need to scale up, you need you should be not worried about how much money you should make or you're not making money. But instead, you should be worried about why my idea is not developed? Why my product is not developed? So that is the exact things everybody should be worried at any point of time. After that, money will come. Money is just a byproduct. Do you agree? Absolutely. And when you're scaling up, you're not making money anyway. Yeah. Because you're you're investing in newer market. You're investing in teams. You're investing in tech. That's a given. When do you scale is a great question because have you mastered, have you understood your business first? Have you understood? Today, when I talk to startup enthusiasts and even Established startup owners. Mm -hmm. Nobody understands what their unit price is. So very basic concept in economics. Right? What is your unit economics of your company? What's your unit price? Even if you're a service. If you're a service, you a service. Right? If you're a service, you can get a customer service. 99% of the startups today fail to answer that question. Right? So at a very minimum, do you even know why? You talk to any typical traditional Indian store guy, who is business or doing business, he knows how much my money is going to be spent, how much my inventory is going to be spent, how much my profit is going to be spent. So if I want to sell this on every thing, then what is my unit price? Kya hai? Right? Today, major, because people are going after scale, majority of the startups don't even know what their unit price is. And that is where everything goes wrong. And that is why you see a lot of startups burn a lot of money. Uh, somebody was asking, freebies bought de te ho. Kyu de uh, Initially, I understand. But at what point of time does that become the main thing for your st The moment you, if your business model stops working, when you stop giving freebies, you're in terrible business. Right? That's that's what I think. Yeah. Actually, actually. Because I just want to uh, add one statement by Jack Ma. Like if you probably cannot make money without money, you probably cannot make money with money as well. So initially, you need to learn how to make money in a small area, as you said. Maybe in a colony where you live. Then expand to the next colony. Then around your city. Then to the nation. Then to the world. That is our small, small steps. And then it actually happens. So I really want to ask uh, one uh, little question here. 
as a as a person who as helping students or anybody any young people to develop their start of their career like how do you think what are the key, uh, key qualities one person should have at this age because they almost are like 18 to 21 uh, age group so how do you think which what is the key qualities they should develop right now because this is the best age if they whatever they are developing it is going to be like long lasting for a long time so what is the exact key qualities what they should actually develop they should be keep looking for as per your opinion so that they can get inspired so there is a lot of advice on this everywhere on youtube bahut sare log i tend to and, and this this answer may be slightly boring for some of you uh i tend to look at my own roots for for guidance on generic concepts like these right? so uh so i look to bhagavad gita a lot i look to our mythology a lot there's a lot of ancient wisdom already i think that is still applicable today and for the future right so bhagavad gita verse now uh, chapter 17 verse 16 says mana prasada right is it okay if i recite and says uh mana prasada samyatva mauna matna veligraha bhava samshuddhir atyetat tapo manasam uchyate i know it sounds complicated but if you look at the meaning of this it says when you have self control which means you have focus and clarity then you have discipline when you have gentleness and when you have a purpose in life no matter what you do you'll be successful right focus and clarity whether you are looking at a career whether you have a startup i can give you tons of examples like atomberg i don't know how many of you have heard of these atomberg fans yeah one of the most successful startups in india when they started everybody mocked them boss gali gali mein ek fan ka company hai kya ban ban ho gaya ab right then guys said now we are very clear we are a futuristic fan company we have integrated ai we have integrated iot and this is our pricing everybody laughed at them and said who will buy a fan when everybody is moving to acs who will buy a fan paying eight times more than what the cheapest in the market today they are one of the most successful uh, indian startups Boko Bara I don't know how many of you have heard this today when you travel in aircrafts one out of every 15 or 20 suitcases you will see is the suitcase brand called Boko Bara it's not it's not cheap it's very very expensive indian company by the way one thing common between both these companies at least one of the two founders of these companies come from iits okay uh so why are they successful they were very clear so even with your career it doesn't matter what branch of engineering are you doing if you know what you want out of life and you reverse engineer if you have the focus success is possible but for that the meaning of this verse also says you need to have discipline and you also need to have reflection which means do you gauge yourself against where the others are so based on that do i identify my gaps and then do i have the discipline to first at least make that checklist happen again whether you're a startup whether you're an individual or whether you're a career professional this holds good right the next thing that it talks about is gentleness be kind to yourself you cannot be perfect on day one right if i join the gym today i am not going to get a six pack today it will there's a certain amount of time it takes for everything to happen right just because you know it takes 9 months for a human to produce a baby doesn't mean in the next 9 months that baby will produce another baby the baby will have to wait at least another 18 years medically to be able to give another a baby right so certain things take time so do you have the discipline to learn that skill so many people come to me and say teja i am an introvert i can't speak and the world seems to demand that i have to be an extrovert who told you that right do you know how many jobs require you not to talk but actually use your analytical skills right data science comes to mind and data analysts today are in demand right choose something that works on your strengths not your weakness if you're an introvert choose a career see if you are an introvert and you want to become an mc or to be become a speaker then effort bhi utna hi lagega if you know what i'm saying actually the point be thank you so so what may i call you uh what is it like when it comes to the pressure what you have taken in your back and of the journey what is the vision what you are putting forward as an it would be all of your it is yes an institution 
industry. So I've been in multiple. I also am in ed tech uh, as well. Uh, recently launched an online course on career growth uh, because I believe it's very, very simple to grow whether you're a starter, whether you're a career professional. Uh, we have un unnecessarily added a lot of drama to it, right? So I'm trying to simplify things. But we also have a, a mobile app company that creates uh, mentoring ecosystems uh, in organizations. So so I am in ed education and I'm in ed tech as well. So so what what is the vision? Uh, you, what is your future vision? Because I'm sure that everybody would love to know what you have a vision as uh, you, for your company, for your personal growth. And how do you see yourself and your company after 10 years? I, I wish I could say a lot of nice things to to, for people to like me, my only vision right now for the latest uh, career group company that I've started is to be able to touch 10 lakh people and help them in, in their careers. I feel it is achievable. I don't want to call it for the world. Whenever that 10 lakh comes in, we would, we would probably say uh, our company has achieved its vision. Uh, that's because I come from a low middle class family and I never had the support, either as an entrepreneur or in the career. Uh, and often we go to so many different places in search of help that at the end of it, we get confused and we, we do nothing because we get so much advice from people, especially as students, they'll get so much advice in the next four years uh, that at the end of the day, sometimes they'll be confused. Ki bhai, itna sab kuch nahi ho so we want to create a platform where if you're focused on growing, it doesn't matter whether you're a startup, you're a career professional, can I create a platform where I give them the clarity in simpler ways? Which means if I cannot speak English, a lot of people come to me and say, sir, I come from a tier three city. I can speak English. As it doesn't matter, right? You can still grow in your career and we teach them how. So, so that's my vision, right? To be able to help 10 lakh people or a million people uh, grow in their careers, whether it's their startup, whether it's their job, whether their existing job wanting to go on top. That's, that's my vision. So, give him a round of applause, guys. Because it was such an informative uh, session. Because I believe uh, today, uh, last two days, we were able to get them a lot of wonderful speakers. And you really added a lot of value to this. Because in terms of uh, career growth and startup uh, development, and uh, even you talked about financials, even though you were not uh, educated about it. But again, all the points when you said were amazing. And I believe every people... One of the most amazing points what you put out here was do not celebrate death. Because when somebody is actually focusing on becoming a unicorn or making a lot of billions, they are supposed to fail. I mean, there are high chances that they will fail. So instead, making a lot of values will create them, uh, make them on the space. So that's a great added value what you added. So thank you so much for being here.